today's era, it's very important to look for the defense sector because in every corner of the world, almost war is going on, whether it's in direct form and whether it's in indirect form. For that, we need to strengthen our defense sector. And for that, we have this INS Imphal. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the in new series of Drishti IS. I am Ritu and today's session is about INS Imphal and its commissioning. So, why there is a name of INS Imphal? So, INS Imphal has been given to the city of Northeast and it is also the capital of Manipur and recently Manipur was also in the news. So, in order to pay the tribute of the freedom fighters of the Northeastern region and especially the Imphal region, so that's why the INS Imphal has been given because we have a various historical significance related to this region. In Manipur also we have seen that Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose went and he hosted the INA flag and we had also witnessed the Battle of Imphal and we had also witnessed the Anglo-Manipur War. So in that all various things the people of Manipur and the people of Northeastern have contributed a lot to the India's freedom struggle. So that's why the name has been given as INS Imphal. So, moving towards the points of discussion part. First of all, we are going to discuss the news and then we will have a brief idea about project 15B and then we will have a brief idea about construction of yard and then we will discuss the technological aspect of INS Imphal and then strategic significance of the INS Imphal and practice question for prelims and mains. So, moving to the news part. So, today there is a commissioning of INS Imphal which is also known as Pennant D68 and uh, that's why we have chosen this topic and we will also discuss that what is the project 15B which is related to the INS Imphal and what is the Vishakha Patnam class. So, this is the news and that's why this news is become important because right now defense sector is very much need of an hour because there is a war going between Russia and Ukraine. There is also war going between Israel and Palestine and we always face war between India and China. The borders are not safe, that are not secured and there is also indirect scuffle between India and Pakistan. So, for various other reasons, we need to strengthen our security and defense sector. So, that's why it's very important to know the nitties gritties of any INS. And in examination also, we have seen that various questions have come from this section. So, Moving to the uh, project 15B. So, earlier we have project 15, which is Delhi class. And then we have project 15A, which is Kolkata class. So, these are the group of INSs and right now we have this project 15B which is Vishakha Patnam class and INS Imphal is a part of Vishakha Patnam class. So, this is the difference between uh, INS Vishakha Patnam class, INS Kolkata class and then INS Delhi class. And each classes have a distinct uh, features and they are upgraded in a different kind of version. So, first we have this uh, project 15 which was the pro uh, Delhi class. So, it was launched in 1999 to 2001 and it became operational at that time. And then we have this project 15A which is Kolkata class. So, which is an upgraded version of project 15 and uh, INS Delhi. And right now uh, we have this. Uh, project 15B which is Vishakha Patnam class. So, each time there is a gap of 10 to 15 years and in all those gaps we have seen that the technology has been advanced and we have created a better future for the defense sector. So, this is the project 15B. Moving to the next slide. Next slide is about the construction of yard 12706 now INS Imphal. So, what are the ceremonial events related to any INSA? So, we have four events. The first is the keel laying and the second is launching, a third is commissioning and fourth is decommissioning. So, what is happening with INS Imphal is that it is commissioned today. So, what keel laying is about? So, keel laying is about that when you will have an idea that you are going to create such kind of things and uh, that will created on a land basis. 
so that is called as a key link that you will prepare a structure of particular thing and then coming to the launching so when that thing will be uh, transferred to the uh, water area so that is called as launching and then commissioning when it will provide the active services so that is called as commissioning so from today onwards INS Imphal will provide the active services so that's why we have this uh, commissioning ceremony and then decommissioning so when the time period and when the INS Imphal will become ineffective and it could not suit the demand of whatever that demand was required at that time so that process is called as decommissioning so all these are the ceremonies related to the any uh, uh, INSS so these are the basic thing about anything moving to the next slide which is that what are the technological characteristics we have in any ships so it is uh, uh, the class consists of 163 meters long so we are wholly talking about the Vishakha Patnam class and with displacement of 7400 tons and they had also the facility of COGSG which is combined gas and gas and they had also allowed to reach a maximum speed of 30 knots and a maximum range of 4000 nautical miles and Vishakha Patnam class of destroyers have multiple fire zones so all these facilities are very important to run a ship in a in efficient manner and also we have advanced the technology because right now we are attacked on various fronts so we need to prepare for from every front so these are the features the other features are that uh, there is also TACS which is called as total atmospheric control system which offers the protection to the crew from the chemical biological and nuclear threats so in the ship the crew also faces such kind of the threat so TACS will protect the crew from all such kind of things and they had also the a state of art combat management system so they that can evaluate the threats using analytical tools and they had also uh, the branch has also brahmos surface to surface cruise missiles and long range engagement shore and sea based targets so they are also surface based and also the uh, water based and then forward boat deck of the ship has 127 meter main gun and also has a 4 AK 630 close point engagement so with all these features what all these features tells us you need not go to much detail about these features but you should have a vague idea about that what is the features about thing what TACS does what COG does so you have idea about all such things that these are the features which are equipped in the INS Imphal and how they are different from the Kolkata class and the Delhi class and how much they are advanced. So they are also taking care of the technological things, the nuclear threats, the physical threats, biological threats. So in that way they don't want to harm their crew on any cost and they have prepared themselves by all the major threats which poses on any ships. So moving to the next slide next slide is about that what is the strategic significance we have so these destroyers are a category of warships that have a high speed motility and longer endurance and uh, they can also detect the fleets and carrier battle groups so they are very effective in water and very effective in any battle kind of thing so they are majorly called as destroyers because their effectiveness could be judged when there is a crisis kind of situation when there is a battle kind of the situation and the state of art skills features makes Vishakha Patnam have a radar signature of very small ship. So the other things would not have this radar signature like Delhi class didn't have, the Kolkata class didn't have but Vishakha Patnam class have this kind of the features that gives the platform of strategic age apart from other classes we already have and uh, they are very independent platforms which are on the larger formation so they are one of the largest formation of all the ships and uh, they are very helpful for the Indian Navy for the navigation for other kind of crisis kind of situations and they uh, with the help of information technology they have become technologically advanced and also showed India's defense power and to the world that how much India has developed in terms of defense and it is also showing that India is improving into this direction and it is indigenously making with all kind of this kind of ships and it is also taking help from the Russia and other countries but 
here its commissioning is launched in india and it is a very great achievement for any country and for its defense sector and it is also giving message to whole the world that if you have any before battling with india we need to know its strengths and india is showing to the world that these are the features which it has and it can also teach other small countries and least developed countries that how to launch this kind of ships in their country so uh, moving to the next slide next slide is a practice question for prelims consider the following statement regarding ins imphal imphal was named to pay tribute to the city during freedom struggle it is a part of project 15b and here you have to answer in the comment section moving to the main slide which is the world is becoming an increasingly unsafe place and that means security must assume topmost priority discuss the statement in the light of need of defense sector reforms in india so here they have highlighted that they want defense sector in india so first what you have to give that you have to give background that what is a war kind of situation happening in all over the world and similarly india is also facing threat because it is also part of the global world and somehow it is also attached to the warring nation because of that india is also posing a threat so uh, we already have know about that india china conflict india pakistan conflict and we have a bit conflict with nepal also related to the kalapani area so for all these small conflicts and big conflicts or direct conflicts or indirect conflicts we need to be equipped with our defense sectors and we need to advance our technology so for all these problems we need to have better defense sector so this would be the justification and of that why india need reformation in defense sector and then you have to highlight that what are the problems we have in the defense sector so the problem is that uh, there is a need of national strategic then we need better technology then we have to also follow the naresh chandra committee and their recommendation that what they have recommended about the defense sector of india and then we have to be also focus on the atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan so that if we are taking support from other countries they will know their which kind of technology you are using and uh, hence you cannot high your mystery of what kind of mystery you have while building any ship so in order to become more atmanirbhar or more independent we need to develop atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan in terms of defense sector also so that's it for today's lecture if you have any question to this lecture kindly ask in the comment section thank you